Bales of hay, sunshine, and proper medical care. It's the order of the day for these three horses. Pretzel, the mare, along with waffles and sprinkles, both just a year old. You can see how badly malnourished they all are. The young ones have never received foot care and their teeth are worn down from foraging for food. Recently, Clark County Animal Protection and Control rescued them from a home in La Center along with another horse. There she is. Make that two more horses. Mom Sorbet just gave birth to little gelato here on Sunday. Well, like these two actually were some of the worst two that I've seen in the last few years. Kim Mosman is executive director of Sound Equine Options. The nonprofit helps neglected and abused horses rescued by law enforcement. Right now, these horses are being cared for by the veterinarian staff at Eagle Fern Equine in Estacada. It's hard, I guess. You just focus on, I'm pretty good at focusing on what we can get them to be. These five horses are part of a large influx of livestock and equine rescued from all over Clark County. 93 animals since September. Everything from cattle and birds to goats and, of course, horses. That's a really big number when people are just used to dealing with dogs and cats. Some of the cases are pretty rough. Joanne Cloud is a big reason why those cases are getting attention now. Last July, Clark County hired her to lead animal protection and control. Cloud admits animal control did not have the greatest reputation. Their perception was that, you know, you can call, but they won't do anything. They won't show up. And I made sure that for me, when I got hired, one, that we're going to respond to every call, even if it's little, because you never know. Something little accidentally turns out to be something big. It's what led them to finding and rescuing these horses from La Center. We got a call just about skinny horses in the pasture. I was concerned that she would not be able to deliver a healthy baby or be able to even have the energy to, you know, give birth. So luckily we got them to sound equine just in time. Once these horses have stabilized, they all have foster homes lined up to take them in. After that, the nonprofit will find them new owners to adopt them. Working with law enforcement allows us to get to the worst of the worst, the ones that need us the most. Kim is grateful for every chance Sound Equine gets to help and thankful for the donations they depend on to run. She knows there will be many more animals in need, especially now. And then people understand that they'll be, you know, held accountable and that that community then expects you to take care of an animal and not let it suffer. In Estacada, Catherine Cook, KGW News.